everybody, Drake here again with another Minecraft tutorial, and today I bring you version 2 of my pumpkin and watermelon farm. Now, with the 1.7.2 patch, as well as many other designs that I have made and other YouTubers have made, came the breaking of my system, or at least my old system anyways. Um, I had received reports that when pumpkins and watermelons grew, they were not being harvested by the system properly, so I have created a fix, and this is now version 2 of my system. So basically, what has been changed, um, these are now sticky pistons with blocks instead of regular pistons. One of the problems was the regular pistons were not pushing the items through the blocks into the hoppers below, so that has now been changed. When it is a full block, it will now push most of the items through, it's about 90% rate. And um, the other items that may decide to go off stray will be picked up by these hoppers that we have placed in replacement of the regular blocks we had before. So now, basically, the growth and harvest rate is 100%. At least it is for pumpkins. Uh, watermelons, I think I did a test of about 50 of them, and only two pieces, and that is pieces of watermelon, did not make it into the system. So it is about a 99.5% harvest rate. So to demonstrate this system, since Minecraft takes forever and a day to grow pumpkins and watermelons, I will simply place the pumpkins and watermelons on the bud locations to show you how the harvester system works. So when a pumpkin or watermelon grows on these locations, they will immediately be harvested as such right now. And as you can see, there are no strays. And to test watermelons when you place them, you will see that all of the pieces will either get pushed into the block or they will be picked up by the adjacent hoppers around the system. Okay, so you will need the following items per harvester of this system, and to clarify, that means one location for a plant to grow, and two bud locations for which the pumpkin or watermelon to grow and then be harvested. And then after that, as you can see, it is simply mirrored as plant, location, plant, location, so on so forth for as long as you want it to be. But the materials that you will need for one full harvester are 10 building blocks of any kind, 2 half slabs of any kind, 2 sticky pistons, 11 hoppers, which is the biggest resource consumption, 5 pieces of redstone dust, 2 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone torches, 1 block of water, it doesn't have to be a bucket of water per thing, it's just you have to have a source block of water every now and then, you'll need 3 pieces of dirt, and then a regular torch as well. Okay, so to begin building this, you want to find out where you want your farm to be, and place a half slab just like this, and then place a full block, and then another half slab on the other side. Now you're going to come down here, and this is a little bit tricky as these hoppers need to be placed correctly, but you're basically going to place the hoppers facing away from the half slabs just like this. And you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side, just like that. And then you can place a full block down here with your three pieces of dirt in front just like this. And then place two hoppers facing inward on the other side just like this, and then this can be a full block here. Now you're going to place three blocks coming up in the back like so, place redstone torches on the corner blocks, place a block above those redstone torches, with a redstone torch on the side facing inward, and then you can place your sticky pistons facing straight down with a solid block on either side. Just like that. And then here in the corner, in between these hoppers, you can place your regular torch, as that will provide lighting to the plant so it will grow faster. And then in this little dip between these hoppers, you can place your bucket of water. So the design should look like this so far. Okay, next you're going to come underneath the design, and you're going to place your hoppers facing into a row of hoppers that you will see here in just a second. But you will first need to place these hoppers going straight in, just as the ones above are facing. Just like that. And now you want to take these hoppers and feed them into a line of hoppers that will lead into whatever you want to take them into. Whether it be a chest, a dropper elevator, or something of that nature, um, that's up to you. I'm just showing you how to build this system, but the entire design should look like this with the hoppers all leading into a single line to take them to one location. Okay, and now it is time for the final stage of the design. You just need to plow this piece of land here in the middle and place whatever seed you want, whether it be pumpkin or watermelon. And then place three pieces of redstone dust on these back blocks here, going across like this. Place redstone repeaters over these hoppers here on the side. And then place two pieces of redstone dust over these back hoppers. And finally, you simply need to deliver power to these three pieces of redstone in the back, which either can be done by placing a block of redstone here with the redstone above it, or simply enough by placing a torch on a block underneath, which will power it all. So now we can actually go ahead and test it. So if a pumpkin or watermelon grows on one of these two locations around the plant, they will automatically be harvested and put into the hoppers down below. And so we put in three, 
and there is your three pumpkins, which will be delivered to a chest or your dropper elevator or whatever you have come up with. Alrighty guys, that is pretty much it. Um, from there on, you just take this system and expand it as far as you want to. You can mirror it, you can stack it, whatever you decide to do is up to you, but as far as I can tell, it is still the most reliable and fully automatic pumpkin and watermelon farm on YouTube. I've searched around for a while and some of them require maintenance, some of them aren't nearly as compact or nearly as resource light as this system, so as far as I can tell it is still the best one out there. So I hope you enjoyed the video, if you liked it please drop me a like down below, it helps me out a bunch. If you really liked it press that subscribe button, favorite and share it with your friends, drop me comments, I love reading them. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.